This is Seven's Afternoon News with Matt White and Melissa Doyle. Good afternoon. Two bushfires in New South Wales have just been upgraded to emergencies. Live to the Blue Mountains in just a moment. And Mel, we'll also hear from the parents of two eight-year-old boys accused of trying to start a fire. Also this afternoon, a pilot killed when his water-bombing aircraft crashed. A second air tragedy as a light plane goes down in Victoria, returning from the fires. And here he is, baby Prince George, the first time we've seen him since he left hospital. We begin with two new fire emergencies in the Blue Mountains this afternoon. The state mine fire and Mount Victoria blazes have flared between Lithgow and Bilpin, threatening properties at Mount Irvine, Mount Wilson, Mount Tomar and Barambing. Live to Erin Edwards on the fire ground at Fulcombe Bridge. Erin, fire crews have been worried all day that this could happen. Mel, fire crews even here who've been battling their own problems said that that was the fire to watch and sadly it seems they may be right. An emergency warning has gone out for towns between Bilpin and Lithgow. Now that includes towns like Mount Wilson, Mount Irvine, Mount Toma and Barambing. Residents in Mount Wilson and Mount Irvine have been told it is too late to leave and they must seek shelter. Now that is because the fire is blocking critical access roads that they may need to get out. This is the largest fire in New South Wales. It is also the most concerning and controversial after the Department of Defence admitted it may have started during explosives training on Wednesday, which was a no-fire day. It has raised 47,000 hectares of bushland. Here at Falkenbridge, there has been a desperate aerial bombing mission to stop flare-ups. There was at one stage a fire truck outside every house along Chapman Parade. We do believe that there was some embers that made its way over to the other side of Chapman Parade, but however, because firefighters were outside every house, they were able to put them out before they could take hold. Now this morning, uh, New South Wales Fire Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons thanked everyone for their support all of his troops on the ground and other states for lending him theirs. He also apologised for not being able to save every house. 